This is my dad's golf cart and my bumper boat. But we're here to we're here for the golf cart today. It's in pretty good shape. It's got a rebuilt rear end and new batteries. Adjusted the brakes so they work like my golf cart. But it makes this horrible grinding noise coming out of the motor. I know it's the motor because the rear end was changed. The motor stayed. Let's see if I can make it do it. Anyway, it's, it does it. It's all quiet now. Well, anyway, you're gonna have to trust me. It needs motor work. So I'm gonna jack up. Jack stands under there. Pull the rear end out real quick. Okay, rear end has been rolled on out. Only takes a few minutes to do. Makes life easy. Rotor stayed put, no big deal. Rotor, stator, armature, who knows what these things are called these days. Anyway, so there's that, pretty important. So here's my spare motor already taken apart. In the bottom here, there is a bearing. That bearing sits right there in the back of the armature. Stator, whatever that thing's called. Rubs on that bearing, there's a little plate here. Holds that bearing in place. Anyway, so the bearing, it's not really pressed, but it's kind of hard to get in there. But anyway, so it sits there. What I assumed happened on that motor was the bearing was shot. This motor has a problem with its brushes as the bolt broke off. So it needed new brushes while I was there. Here's the Here's the old bolt. So while I was there, I sized the bearing, ordered a new one. The plan was to put new brushes in it, which I already have, and then put the motor back together. But, now that I see that motor, there may not be anything wrong with it. Which means my problem lies elsewhere. So this problem has been here since we got this cart. And the first rear end, the guy used to off-road the cart a lot, and he put a hole in the bottom of the rear end casing so it wouldn't hold oil. So it got a new rear end. When it got a new rear end, it got new bearings and seals, new axles, tubes, brakes. The only things that are reused were the rims and this motor. Chances are the rims aren't causing the grinding issue we keep hearing. So it's something else, but first glance, I, don't, I can't tell what it is. So these are all loose. Make sure these are kind of loose too. So it slides apart. I have a remover tool for the bottom. So it's pretty, uh, pretty nice. Brushes look okay. This one doesn't go in as much as the others. So it looks like this may have twisted. Yep. Need that. And yeah, this looks much nicer. Then the other one looks like this whole assembly might have been replaced at one point in time. Same with the uh, the inners. You notice these are nice and shiny. These are old and dull. Chances are this one's much newer than that one. So that's interesting. Let's get that assembly out of there if we can, which we should be able to, because I believe this has been taken apart already. When I put that motor in, the brushes fell off, and I. I had to redo it. Mm. 
bearing your roll is fine. You can kind of hear it. It shouldn't sound quite like that, so it's probably a little worn. But it doesn't sound like it's worn enough to hear the grinding noise that I do. Started hooking up this bearing puller, the thing fell right out of there. Hopefully, it's the same case here. Yeah, it's not that stuck, as you can tell. All right, there's our bearing. Makes some noise. It's not, it's not bad. I do see a lot of wear inside. It rocks back and forth a little bit, and you can also see a lot of, let's see if you can see it, rubbing. So maybe at some point the bearing does seize up, and then this rotates on the shaft of the armature, you know, right here. Stator, whatever that thing's called, the, the, the turny bit. So yeah, maybe that doesn't stay put and rubs. I'm not sure. Uh, let me give you a sound comparison to a new bearing. So yeah, you can tell that bearing is worn. It's not, it seems like it should be fine. Oh, did you hear it? There it is. All right, so bearing. So now I make the decision. Do I want to stick with this motor or put in the other one? There's a, uh, there's a golf cart nearby that was converted to a trailer. So it's like the front end of a golf cart cut off and turned into a little trailer hitch. It's got seats, the back end. The motor was removed and then a big plate was installed over it. It's a club car just like this one. The guy wants 50 bucks for it. Now, golf cart rear ends are pretty hard to find for the one you need. And you can find rear ends. You can buy new rear ends. But it's not for the golf cart you have. It's for a different golf cart. That's, that's always the case. So I'm thinking about buying it, especially if I ever have like a golf cart project that needs a rear end. I'll have it for 50 bucks. It's... Be silly not to buy it. So I might, I might message him, especially now that I'm having another motor. Okay, I will just go ahead and put a new bearing in this one. So this one, yeah, I don't know what it is. Italy 6203ZZ. So that one had a 6203Z, which is a single seal. The ZZ is a double seal, which is what I have here. So it looks like it's already been changed at one point in its life. You can see that one slid right on in there. Let's put the plate back on. All right, well, easy enough. Put this thing back in. Yeah, that's probably, that's probably right. Right, like so.
So I got to figure out how this can go, but still allow that brush full of travel to not get stuck. So right there, the wiring looks the best, but it doesn't allow the brush to go fully in. I think it kind of does. I don't know, it doesn't. Halfway, if that quarter of the way. But if I turn it this way, it looks like it's a little cramped, but the brush goes all the way in, so. I don't know, let me try it backwards, I guess. No, oh, that's it. And the other side. This one? Yeah. All right, so that's how that's going. There. That one's moving fine. They all are. All right. Easy enough. So that's where those are going. Let's get a little half inch wrench. Tighten those down. All right, fun part, brushes. You can't put the shaft, this thing in there because the uh, brushes don't let you. So what you can do is push the spring down and out of the way so the brushes don't do anything and then go out there with a little pick afterwards. Put that spring back on the brushes. So all I'm doing is putting the spring clip right below the brushes and put some weight on them upwards and holds them in their spot. Just like so. Now the brushes don't come into play. Clean off the shaft here. Lower this into the bearing. So it's pretty, it's pretty loose. It's possible that the, uh, it was spinning inside of the bearing. Let me try the other one. See, that's got a nice, good, tight fit. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. I'm no golf cart expert, but... Either that one's got a problem, or the... You know, one of the two's got a problem. I just don't know which. I don't think it's supposed to be that loose of a fit. But I don't know. Well, anyway. So let's push the brushes in. Get in there and get these springs back on the back of the brushes, just like that. Let me zoom in on one so you can see. So see on here, I got that spring pushing on the brush to the brush rub. So over here, it's not because it's below. So you push that in, get that spring back out, back where it's supposed to go. All right, now that's back together. These little things are gonna be annoying. These little rubber things. Because you need to slide them in and then put them above. You'll see. right in there like so it's 
originally they were you can see the line from the motor right there so I'll match that I guess I hear that So it's possible this has a little bit of play, and that's what the grinding is, not the bearing, because that sounds more like it. See how it's shiny? See how it's dull? So that little bit of play there with that bearing is causing the rub there on that Idner, well, electromagnet. So, yeah, that's probably where it's from. So it's probably... It's going to come, come apart again, so... And the brushes. On this one, we have no rubbing at all. So let's give this one a try. Still have a little bit of wobble, but it's definitely a stronger fit than the other one. Anyway, I'll get the uh, clips back in, the brushes back in, and then I'll put that back on. We'll see what it's like. You know, you did pretty well when bolts mostly slide right in. You know, as far as your alignment goes. Now, if it's a little crooked, you can grab, twist that just a little bit, get the bolts aligned. It looks like where they are. You can do fine. Now you don't want that inner rotor to fall out of there. Because then you gotta take it all apart again. So you gotta be very careful. All right, now just wheel it back in and hook it up and see if it fixed it. Well, this is working pretty well. Not making any weird noises. It's quite smooth. pretty bouncy. Let's probably put some shocks in it next. Well, it's been a few days and the thing's working fine. So he's happy with it. He's glad it's not making those horrible grinding noises anymore. But anyway, that's how to uh, kind of work on it. They're all a little different, but all the motors I've worked on so far on these golf carts, they're all, they're all pretty similar. So any questions, let me know. And, uh, Keep an eye out for more golf cart videos coming up next. So, see you later.